All right, Abby, now we're going to take a look at the front view of your breaststroke. And I like to look at this view to get to see what kind of streamlined position you're getting in as you're moving forward in your breaststroke. So as we're coming towards the camera, you can see there your feet are still a little bit apart, and your hands are together, and your head is up with your eyes looking forward. And we want those that head, the back of the head on the arms, and you're going to look straight at the bottom at this point, um, not at your hands. And then as your feet are still trying to get together, you're starting your hands out a little too early. So at this very point, those hands want to be straight in front of your eyes as you're finishing that kick, and your eyes should be down at the bottom. So I see you looking straight at me, and you should be looking straight down. I should see only the top of your head at this point. Um, and then as you come through on the pull, again, get those hands up higher on the recovery, and then get the head down, and it, the head will follow those hands a little bit more if the hands are higher. So as we watch the next frame, as you're coming through, get those hands on top of the water. So you can see here, they're underneath, they're right here. Get them up here, get them on top of the water, underneath your chin, and that'll help you follow your hands with your head so that your head gets more in a streamline. You can see here, Again, because your hands recovered so low, they're here and your head's here. So you're not in that streamlined position to deliver that kick and get that streamline ahead so you get that push straight forward in the streamline. And you're just kind of a little bit off that line. And again, the eyes are forward and they should be straight down. So as I'm looking here, you're looking straight at me and you should be looking straight at the bottom. I should see the top of your head and you should be looking right down at the bottom of the pool. Um, as you start your arms out, this is pretty good though. You turn your hands out and then you get your elbows bent and your hands are just slightly outside your elbows, which is very good. That's a good position to have power in your pull. So I really like that. Just get those hands up on recovery. Then you're delivering your kick. Your knees should be up a little bit. So you don't want to drop your knees so deep as you're pulling the feet up. You want to try to keep the knees hidden so you keep them a little bit more behind the body and pull the feet up towards the hips, not the knees. So you can just see your knees are down a little bit, but they're close together. Um, so that's not a bad position to be in. And we can just work on that head position a little bit, those hands on the recovery. That'll get you in a better position. You can see here you're slightly apart with those feet and your hands are heading apart. So keep those hands together all the way until those feet hit. The hands should still be together right now as your feet are touching. You're just a little ahead of that. That'll help with your streamline. Breaststroke has so much drag to it. If you're not in that streamlined position, you're not taking advantage of that and it's going to create more drag and slow you down.